Glasses right. or no glasses? glasses? Glasses. Always glasses. We got articulate cat. It's, it does Trig calm cat. my eyes. What? I've had an eye twitch for two months now. This is, this is placebo entirely. I mean, it hasn't been, it's been addressed that they're just fake glasses. No. No. Oh. No. no. It hasn't been addressed. This is the pre-show. We're good. No. You are. Roll it. You're absolutely lying right now. If you think. Are the run down. Yeah, no, we're running, yeah. Dan is sitting here talking that he's, that he's relaxing an, his eyes. I have had an eye twitch for two months now. That Just, is stress, my friend. You're stressed. It's bad, man. I've tried everything. And tried now you wear your sleep, fake glasses. glasses. I worked out once. Glasses. You wear your fake weed. glasses and your eyes relax. You smoke take, weed? I've been like medicating myself. Like, take out dip, do more dip. Like everything. It seems like you're glasses skipping drinking. Thing that, drinking seems I drink like a little, but like this, nothing oh, fixed uh, except the glasses. I don't know. Maybe it's the crippling gambling addiction. I actually. Have you, have you altered that at all? Have you I did for a month. You twitched more? I know I went less on baseball, but baseball does stress me out because it's like I can't win. I fucking, I went 0-7 the other night and I was just like, what the fuck? You're How so is that bad. possible? You're so bad at gambling. How is that guys, possible? So bad to go 0-7. Nobody in this office is good at gambling. It's not fucking it's, fair. It's a, it's I'm like happening. between him, Dave, and like living with Dude, Lou. Lou's like Lou's the worst of all. You don't understand what old going on seven in baseball does to a man. It makes you feel like the smallest person on earth. Like you, <laughs> I believe like, that. I, how do you go open seven? It's like, oh. Here's here's my thing. In my life, if I'm not good at something, I just don't do it. Yeah, I just I still love it, things. but it's just like you have goals. Like you want to win. Like I, I tried to break into a door yesterday. I literally tried for two seconds. I went, I can't do this. I'm You're over. Out. Why well, I keep trying? I don't, like I'm not good at any physical things anymore. I just don't do them. And the worst just is like I was losing in the ways. Like I had, I, I bet like two games where I bet the over. The entire board goes over except the two games I bet. I bet like a couple first five five innings and like lost them in the bottom of the fifth. Like just you, fuck. You stink. So yeah, I got glasses now for my eye twitch. <laughs> so yeah. So, so anyway, I got, fake I got glasses. glasses. <laughs> fake glasses for my fake eye twitch. That's that's the big cat way. Mm. The rundown's brought to you by Direct TV. Uh, football's almost here. You got to get NFL Sunday tickets so you can keep up with all the games. You don't need a satellite. And uh, right now they got a promo code where you're going to get 15% off at checkout. You go to NFLSundayTicket.tv. The link is below this. Click on that. Use the promo code RUNDOWN. Keep up with all the NFL action. Don't watch the Jets because they are literally going to What do you think? How many games are you going to I, I, I genuinely think they are going to win zero games. They play the Bills twice. I though. think they will lose twice to the Bills. I think they will lose 16 times this season. And I think, oh, here's my theory, by the way. Here's my, here's I my, was, I was, here's my thoughts. Uh, hang on. Uh, okay, you tell your theory first. And I'll, I'll well, I think the Patriots are going to go 19 and 0. I think the Jets are going to go 0 and 16. I also now have this deep, dark fear that the Yankees are going to make like a World Series run and the Mets are terrible again. And it will truly be rock bottom for me as a fan. Mm. Like Patriots perfect, Jets defeated. Mm. Yankees win. Mets lose. Breaking news. Breaking news. T Swift. This bitch. Taylor Swift. Reputation. New album. Reputation. November. Yeah. Are you well, no, still so she's on gonna her? drop a new song. She better. She Are you still on her right bullshit? Now. single out tomorrow night. Yeah. Okay. Are you that, still on her bullshit? I'm not on her bullshit. I'm on the. I'm on. Like, I think I'm on her bullshit. She, now. I was always off her bullshit. No, I love what she's, she's doing. That's she's crazy. JJ Watt. Look, JJ Watt's really good at football. He's a dick. He's really well, good Well, he was she's, good at football. She's really good at making music. She's injured. She's kind of a bitch. She's kind of annoying and insufferable, but she's really good at making music. But so here's, no, 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 but here's the thing: she was, she wasn't really always a bitch. Not she, bitch wasn't the right word, but you know right. What I mean. But now she's being a bitch. But now she is. That's kind of what That's I like true. it. She's I don't it. understand this snake stuff, yeah. but I know what's going to be good. But see, I still think she's probably fake owning it. I don't. I, no, no, no. I think she genuinely hates Katy Perry, and I think she's about to shit Mike down her throat. Like, yeah, but here's the problem: like you know, like the strong rumors with that are like that they're going to come out. Together, the VMAs. Oh, then fuck and that. And then I'll, oh, then I'll definitely that. Yeah, I'll hate the fuck out of her. Both, but I'll still listen to her music. But I'll hate the fuck out of her. Yeah, them. yeah, no, that's fine. I'll, but I'll hate if they if this is all a ploy and then they're kissy kissy friend friend. Fuck that. But if it's a true rivalry and she's like upstages K Katy Perry at the VMAs and all that shit. It's well, cocky. the snake, the snake emoji is what everyone used to post on her in, on K on Taylor Swift's Instagram S about Jake Paul did? about the uh, Kanye Kim Kardashian S thing. All right, well, so now now this is all leading up to the BMAs for them together. Yeah. Fuck. I thought we were going to, like, get a, a cocky thing. Nonetheless, new image. single tomorrow night. That's all I give a fuck about. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. yeah I bet be she bad. talks about her breakup. I bet she talks about... Let's, <laughs> let's, set, one let's set some odds. Yeah. It'll be, will it be Katy breakup. Perry, John no, Mayer, or... Uh, no, it's a Diplo, didn't she, did, didn't she this just is date Diplo? A, this is, this is she a, did Diplo? This is a bit of a tired... 
Oh, trope. narrative here. Trope yeah. is the word trope, you're looking trope. for. Narrative also. I'm, I'm wearing glasses, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if you saw that. Just like the whole like, oh, she broke up, new album. Like, no, I mean, it'll be about like, I, I whatever dramatic, it'll be about Katy Perry. Judging whatever by the snake, I think it's going to be Kim Kardashian and, and Kanye. Fine, that's what, I, whoever it is, like whoever the next the, the next flavor of the The weird thing when people get so mad about that is too, like, like, that's what singers do. They write about shit that happened in their lives. Yeah, yeah. she's just like annoying and dramatic. She just, yeah, she, she just dates too many people. I just think it's the opposite where she like actually gets in relationships just so she can break up and write yeah, an album. Yeah. yeah. Like she reverse engineers it. Right? It's almost like we overreact to the overreaction. It's, over like, it's, like, it's like a top chef when they're like, this is a deconstructed Segway hamburger. To it's just a Topic number one of the rundown, Robert Lee. Yes. Uh, <laughs> ESPN, ESPN removes this fucking Asian, this guy, fucking Asian guy. The fact that he's Asian is so, so perfect. Funny. It his makes it so much so better. Funny. His stock pictures are just so great. Just like this fat, happy dude sitting in a commentator's he's the, like he, he's the Isn't Lee the most common like Asian name? I, You'd have to imagine. <laughs> just judging like, by racism, What's yeah. the most common by, Asian by, name? By inherent racism. Yeah. yeah. Lee? Lee. No, like Lee, Lee, like the common last name. Korean, Korean is, Lee. is Lee. Korean. Lee is Korean. How and many? What are the four names in Korea? It's like Lee. Oh, it's oh, like Donnie. Lee yeah. Kim. Wait, what? Yeah, Donnie too. You can chime Lee, in here. Lee Kim. You probably know more. Hold on. Hoon Hong. Awesome. Give it to our real Asian. <laughs> June. That's Korean. The Koreans love the double O's. Oh, and so Cho. So what about what about Cho. Lee? What's Lee? Cho or Lee's Korean. Yeah. Yeah, Lee's Korean. I don't Pretty know common. But I know a couple of Lees in China. Oh, okay. Maybe. But yeah, China's more about like any, the house, you know gals, Lees? bows. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know well, yeah, Robert I mean, Lees? this guy's name is probably really like Yang Lee, you know what I mean? Like, he, yeah, he, he picked he, an American name he, and it just <laughs> went backfired. And he did not study history no, first. No, he just came out, he's like, Bob sounds like a cool one, I'll go with Robert. Then he oh, learned to open a history book in high school and was like, oh, fuck you, yeah, son of a it. bitch. Here's, okay. Let's, let's unpack it all. Just to further, you know, to finish the story, they pull him off of this UVA football game because it was in Charlottesville at UVA. They didn't want any memes and pictures going viral of Robert Lee being on TV, broadcasting the game. Uh, you guys are on this whole, over, you guys are overreacting to the overreaction. Well, no, so there's a I couple know. of things. One is, I didn't realize this was that big of a deal. Like I said, we played softball last night. I taped the show, we went to, I went to sleep, I woke up and I just like, kind of tweeted like, yeah, I don't think this is a big deal. And it was a dumpster fire in my mentions being like, this is just the liberal media taking over. I was like- Well, you're Libcat and you're tricky. Yeah, but, so, you know. but I still, my initial reaction, I feel like normal people's reaction was, I, like it was, it, all these guys were, all the guys were in the car with me when it happened. He, someone said it out loud and I was like, oh, well that's an unfortunate but funny coincidence. Probably can't put him on that game just because people are just gonna like have fun with it. Like I never once thought like, oh my God, if they do it, people are gonna be like, this is offensive or you can't do this. I was like, right, but that's it's just why kind of like an unfortunate coincidence that you just, like if you can change it, just change it. That's why, no, I think you should have just done <coughs> it because of what you just said. Everyone would be like, that's an unfortunate yeah, but coincidence. So, okay, so here's my biggest problem. The people who are uh, like outraged that ESPN did this, they're, they always are the ones that claim like the left is getting outraged about they're like i'm so sick of the left being outraged about everything but now they're outraged yeah. about something else so it's like i hate everyone yes. that's, that's been my stance from day one nothing has changed in that respect that i don't give a fuck about the politics of it i hate people who get upset about dumb things and this is the dumbest thing you get upset about and now i'm upset <laughs> It was a lose lose situation from the first because it it's was. Not. It it's is. not. That it was big gonna of a get. Lose. It was gonna get like the mean and like and people were gonna get offended. So like that was a lose. And then like quietly no, they I, did quiet and try and quietly. Like no one fucking knew he was on this game. It wasn't like they announced it. No, like it's, it's, in, it's in order happening. in order to appease the other side. But just everything to make sure, you're saying is why they should have just let it. Happen. Here's the end of the day. And what, let, but so what letting happens? it happen is people like they'll still get fucking pissed. Right. I don't. Th I think the. I think if there was. I think you're giving humanity like way too much credit. All right. right. Well, so I think there would be. People love a to get screenshot mad. of of this. And they love to get right. mad. Okay. And it goes viral, and some asshole like Sean King or one of those social justice warriors, they end up looking like the assholes, being like, ESPN should be fired. Blah 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 blah. Right. I think so, most ra so rational people would just be like, this is an Asian dude who happens to have right. the same name as a guy who was born 200 years before him. 
This is not that big of a deal. Rational I would people let, don't run the world. I would yeah, let those dude, people be rational the assholes. People are not on ESPN Twitter. looks like the assholes. Let those people be the assholes. The one mistake ESPN made was they shouldn't have like tried to do this covertly. They should have just been like, hey, this is kind of a weird, funny coincidence. Better safe uh, than sorry. We're just going to probably put this guy on a different game. But I they, think, it really I think, wouldn't have been that big of a deal. Because, I think that makes it worse. See, I think the, it, it, I think, the reason I why think it's then a story you're making a is it gets like... like it looks like they were hiding it, and then it gets exposed, and then it's like What this. they really should have done is just fucking call him Bob Lee for the day. Yeah. Robbie Lee. Yeah. Robert, do like... That, well, you can't way, be Robert, Bob Lee. Robert Lee, can't, that's fine. a problem. Call him, call, call him Bert Lee. <laughs> yeah. Do, do the Michael B. Jordan. You need to, there's Robert E. Lee. You need I to think do his Robert middle name F. is actually Lee. Edward, though. No way. Yeah, I think so. It's no pretty sure. fucking no, fucking yeah. so I think He literally is Robert E. Lee. Then they should have just completely <laughs> doubled down, dress him up in a Civil War costume, yeah. and be like, I'm the Asian Robert E. Lee. Yeah. Let's fucking go do but this dumbass football game. At the end of the day, I hate it. And I, I, this, I feel like this is consistent. I know that people will decide, they'll spin whatever you say and, and put it in their own worldview and be like, well, you disagree with me. I hate Sean King, and I fucking hate Clay Travis. Both those guys, to me, are the exact same people. They fucking are opportunists who basically peddle in outrage, and they just get everyone worked up, and then they fucking, you know, spin everything their way, and then they throw shit at the other side, and that's their day. I am totally with you on that, but if we're not going to talk about... That was well said. If, Thank if you. you. If yeah. you don't want to and stir up bad. outrage and shit, <laughs> if you don't want to stir everything up, you just have to let this unfold the way or it is. Or just and say be it like, it's, un, it's, it's an unfortunate coincidence, but we were not going to pull a guy off of a job because he has the same name as someone. See, I, I just think, like, I really that don't... That, to me, is the rational thought. I know everyone... So if you want to talk about... You're too outraged. We should all be rational. The rational thought is, I'm gonna let this guy do his fucking job and just be like, he has the same name as someone. But it's the problem. That's the problem we've had forever and will always have. It's like you're catering to the people who would be outraged. Dude, that's always what's happening. You're always just being like, I don't want to freak out. No, that I think fucking... cater. I think what ESPN did is catering to the outraged. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay, that's what it, will it. always happen. Got like, it. That's yeah, always I, right, going. Right, right, right. Maybe I'm naive, but I because I really have not like thought of it in a political way at all. I really do think they were just like, eh, we kind of don't want to be the butt of a joke here. Let's just change it. Like right. I, I really do think that. Like yeah, I, but I the, also the, think that my, is very dumb. I know, but my I. That you can so if you want to blame ESPN, and I kind of agree with that. Where ESPN's like, come on, you shouldn't really care what like you know people are making fun of you. But I really never ever thought there was politics in this. I really just thought because th my initial reaction was just like, oh, that's funny and stupid. Like, yeah. but yeah, if you could not I, do I, it, I mean, I'd the, probably the not thought do it. that ESPN could have the foresight had... though is like you have to know this is going to be. You have to know that Clay Travis is at home jerking off to this, being like, this is gonna right. Be, that's why they should. If they're changing it, they should have said it out loud. Yeah, because that, that then it becomes. Then it looks thing. like you were sneaking. Yeah, but now then even like, then yeah. he still takes it and spins it because then he says yeah, like that's what they're I'm making a political statement. That's my point. Those guys, yeah, like you can't really have the statement. That's why they were just quietly like they're like no one in the whole fucking world knows Robert Lee's on this game. Let's just. Let's not make a statement out of it. Let's just, eh, we'll switch games. Ultimate spin zone. Now people know this guy fucking exists. Yeah, big no day. No one for, knew who he big was. Big day for Robert. Huge. Lee. So maybe he leaked it. Stay woke. <laughs> I was actually gonna, he might I was have leaked about it. to say, how did this even come out? Because you could just be like, Robert Ely is sick today and he can't talk. Yeah. yeah. So we need a replacement. I don't know. There's a million ways around this. I really, that screen grab, I mean, that was my, literally my first reaction was like, oh, that'd be so funny to see Robert Lee. Like and Charlotte's because that that would be the opening sequence. Robert Lee, Charlottesville, Charlottesville. Virginia. Robert Lee. You could have yeah. always kept Robert Lee on screen, because then like it looks funny if they, if you don't have the Asian guy there. Actually, that makes more the meme. The Asian it's is more just, meme the, with the Asian, Asian extra is like the gift from the oh, blog. Oh, it's guys, beautiful. You know? It's beautiful. And there's that like comedian Bobby Lee, right? He's an Asian dude. He's probably he's, I think he's probably is he one of Louis C.K.'s guys. Yeah. Like I don't know, yeah. chubby guys. Yeah. All right, topic number two, 30 <laughs> minutes into the rundown here. Yeah, we might have to just cut out, cut out Dan's sunglasses. Glass, Dan's People complain when we, when we do 14 minutes of rundowns. Let's fucking go an hour. <laughs> the uh, Kyrie trade. Big news. Kyrie's headed to Boston uh, for Isaiah Thomas and the first round pick. Who else? What's, what's the other? Give me, give me the details, Coley. Znakovich. Yeah. Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder. Aunt, Ante Zizic. That was close. Coley, <laughs> this is a, a big one for you, bud. I'm pumped. Yeah, you're about as happy as can be right now. Yeah. You got rid of Isaiah Thomas, who stinks in your eyes. No, I yeah, never Yeah, no, you hate him. Stuck. He stinks. Just, I never wanted to pay him what he's worth. You like, hate to him. To me, and that you was a bad idea. Danny Ainge agrees with me. You hate him and you think he stinks. I hate you and I think you stink. That's, that's well documented. You admit yeah. to that. Why don't you admit to Isaiah Thomas? So I'm a known truth teller, Kevin. Everyone knows that's the hallmark of my personality. So uh, you got a primetime player here. We got, Ky we got Untucked Kyrie. We got Byrie Irving. I'm very excited. 
we got the the best point guy in the Eastern Conference now. We better, oh, better oh, than oh, oh, better oh, than John oh, Wall. Damn, John Wall. You've been saying it for oh, years. Damn, oh, I've been saying it for oh, years. Better than John yeesh. Wall. Everyone yeah. knows that. I'd say John Wall is the better point guard. I'd take John Wall. Listen, I would have said I had John Wall in my top ten last week. Now I have Kyrie Irving. John Wall. Don't forget a little <laughs> Derek Rose. I was going to say, don't forget about Dave Thomas. And that, let's that, go. You know, they already they already got they replaced Kyrie with the, with D Rose. Okay, so correct. Yeah, yeah. The, Isaiah is probably going to be six man there. He's going to be there, Manu. Perfect. Uh, Dan, thoughts? What do you got I, here? I, I people hate it when I say, but like I really do think it was a good trade for both sides because Kyrie is a top five scorer. And you need a guy like that to win in the playoffs. And the, the Cavs basically, they did one of two things. Either one, they give themselves a future for when LeBron leaves uh, next, next year, year, which I think we all kind of think is going to happen. But let's say he doesn't leave. It gives LeBron a future to be like, oh, they're actually building something a little younger with some draft picks. Because the Cavs have built, everything the Cavs do around LeBron is like, we got to win right this second Let's fucking get Richard Jefferson and Dante, like all these old dudes. Oh, Dante Jones, friend of the program. Teammate. Correct. <laughs> Teammate of mine. Uh, so it, now that like they're getting some young guys, maybe LeBron's like, ah, maybe I'll stay. Like if this pick turns I, out to I be the number like one he, pick. I feel like he'd be more inclined that to try to flip trade. this again. That would hurt. That would hurt. Don't you, think right. this, don't you think this would be like Wiggins love all over again? Like, the, like I feel like they're trying to beat the Warriors right now, so if they can flip something else with the I don't know, if it's the number one pick, you got to keep it, and then LeBron's got, like, a decent team around him. I, I mean, know. that was what He's not what staying was, to, yeah, he's not to staying. play with, like, Michael Porter Jr. That's like, what that's I'm saying. That's not what's going to happen. Yeah, I, get, I mean, I don't think he's staying it's, it's regardless, but I'm just again. saying that you could make... There was 0% chance that LeBron was staying in Cleveland, in my mind, before this trade. Now there's probably... Four or, as chance? me and Coley were saying, don't you think that this trade happened because of that? Do you think? Well, Kyrie... they had to trade him because Kyrie, like, Kyrie wasn't going to fucking play. He, was, he said he yeah. wasn't going to show up. But to I, camp. I don't, do you feel like I feel like Kyrie was like, I got to get the fuck out of Cleveland before yeah. LeBron. Oh yeah, 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 no, that was my whole take from the beginning. Right. That Kyrie was like, I'm not going to let you fuck me. I'm going to fuck you first. Right. Yeah. And like, I think that's from, almost uh, why LeBron was kind of supportive. I know he has to do that publicly, but doing it on Twitter because it was probably like, yeah, dude, I'm going to leave. So you got to get yours. You but 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 if so if LeBron does leave the, the Cavs make out they got a guy who Isaiah Thomas you know you could you could sell you could sell tickets for the East is gonna suck a team with Isaiah Thomas on it and Kevin Love if, if LeBron leaves will make the playoffs like they'll Correct. be an eighth seed. yeah they're so still set like, yeah right you can you don't go to no man well that is no man's land but for an owner you don't go to well, at least they'll have that pick though. That'll, right. They'll be top 10. Right. I don't know if it's going to be one, but it's going to be top 10. Holes are getting number one pick. From a non-basketball perspective, I don't understand the game of basketball. Like, how do you have, like, you were number one seed in the NBA in the Eastern Conference last year, and you have four or five starters are now just gone? We had 11 new players on a 15-man roster. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, but I, I, what? I, I think that is almost a reaction to, like, we are not going to win right now, right? I mean, it's like, always... It's just not going to happen. We're the number one team. We're not going to beat the like, Warriors. Every other sport like, not build a team, Cavs. stick with a core. Yeah, no. Basketball is just, like... The question... Grabbing guys. All Coley, yeah. Three seasons, is, like, I'm new, get, no whole new team. Whom spans? <sighs> Marcus Smart. He's the longest Who takes the longest Celtic. shot? Who takes the last shot? Kyrie. Only one ball. Kyrie was doing that in Cleveland. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Kyrie, Kyrie might Crowd's be. Crowd's shitting Gordon Hayward. That's tough. And it's like, uh-oh. He's the gonna do it. He's going to take night. it. The meme's floating around. I'm like, <laughs> wait for when, when he doesn't pass the ball to Gordon. No, I mean, obviously. Tuck I, your shirt I agree back with you. I agree with you. Shirt back. Kyrie, 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 Kyrie's going to love Boston. No, you get We have you. so many white girls there. No, yeah. Yeah. You get, it's true. And the ocean. We have a lot of ocean. True. It's like, a lot of ocean and whites. went to Duke. There was a video of him on that boat in Miami. That dude loves white girls in Boston. We have no shortage of that. That's all we got. But yeah, he is. It is his team. He's going to, I mean, that's why you get him. He scores in the fourth quarter. And by the way, I, I think I was out when this all kind of broke, but the, the, the New York City pastor who's running the fucking world, who was pulling the strings behind this, yeah. is not getting enough attention. Yeah, are you worried about that guy? I'd be worried about that guy. There's this dude, his name's Carl Wentz. Yeah. He's a, a pastor in New York. Yeah. He convinced Bieber to cancel his world tour. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, that guy. He, yeah. okay. He, he got him off of the money team. He was like, stop fucking with Floyd Mayweather. Yep. And he was behind the somehow behind the Kyrie LeBron yes. feud. I'd be he worried. He is puppeteering I'm, the biggest like, news Kyrie in could, music and sports right yeah, now. Kyrie could like retire in December and I'd be like, oh yeah, that makes it's, sense. Yeah, I'm, that I'm more upset that that guy wasn't in like Durant's ear last year. Like yeah. clearly this guy's got some sway. He could have helped us out a lot more. I, I like mean, obviously sway. I love Kyrie. This guy's dealing, he's bigger than Trump right now. This guy's fucking crazy. Listen, Durant's on the Golden State and he had nothing to do with that. I'm very disappointed in Carson Wentz's cousin. <laughs> Carson Wentz. Mm. 
<laughs> he kind of looks like he could have that vibe too. You That's see the picture saying. where he's got the, the like cut off sleeves and shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't trust this guy. <laughs> Carl Wentz. Love you, Kyrie. Nobody Go buy a shirt. About him. Yeah, I, I had like, no idea. Dangerous. I knew that. Like that all was the first thing I thought of was like Kyrie might just like wait just until quit. wait until there's fucking nukes going to North Korea. And they're gonna be like the pastor told Trump. Right. Speaking of Trump, uh, the reason why we are still in Afghanistan is because General McMaster showed Trump pictures of chicks in Afghanistan wearing mini skirts back in the 70s. Well, mini skirts. Well, that's what the headline says. Inflammatory. Yeah. They were they were skirts. nunnery skirts. But they were kneeling for Afghanistan. That's practically naked. So it was kind of like, yes. hey, hey, Don, like chicks over there, they fuck. Like it's kind of normal. We got to stick around. I don't know, you know, who's to say if it's the best practice to have your president decide things based on this. However, I totally fucking get it. Oh. Like that's the first question anyone asks. Like you want to get me off the couch? There are girls there? <laughs> not what are, what not are like? only you that. You can tell a lot about the place by the women that like? go there. They yeah. fuck, they put out. Like, if you want me to go it's to a, like a party at a college, if you want me to go to a bar, you want me if to you to want war. me to go to fucking war, what are the chicks like over there? Yeah, but that's not, it. I mean, not only that. Women have been deciding wars, Helen and Troy shit but for a long that's time. That's right. But just like Melanie did the same thing. I but saw this picture and I had the same reaction Trump had. I was like, oh damn. I was like, oh wait, they look like us. That looks like a college campus. Like that looks like us. Oh okay. Like yeah, we could. Like, I'll okay, we'll that. be friends. Like, that's, it's, I, mean, that's I know that nature. sounds dumb. I know that makes me a little pea brain to be like, oh, yeah, their culture can be the same as ours. Look at those chicks in skirts. But that was my initial reaction. I can't change that. And, and got to, a pea brain. Uh, to <laughs> explain things to Trump, like, like McMaster's a great salesman. Because oh, like, to exactly explain things to do. Trump, you have to act like you're explaining things to us. Right. And that's exactly what I would need. Like, which oh, always, shit. Which yeah. always comes back to, yeah. It always oh. comes back to, I understand these things, but I'm not the president of the United States. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I shouldn't be. John Bones Jones, he just does steroids all the fucking time. <laughs> this guy loves steroids more than anything in the whole world. At, it reaches a point where you just have to respect it. This guy just does steroids. I think he, there, to me, there's like, I, I don't know, I was told last night that the UFC has like the strictest drug testing policy. Maybe that's true. I can't imagine that John Bones Jones is the only guy in the UFC who does steroids. I feel like he's the only one who ever fails test him and Brock Lesnar. Well, that's true. Like, I think he does, he's bad at doing steroids. That's yeah. really, I think yeah. his problem is he needs a new doctor. Yes. He needs a new guy to a new, shoot a new dude. He right. needs to talk to rich, A-Rod. Cause it, go, rich go. people can pass steroid tests. Rich people can do anything. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. So like, that's stupid. If you have a little money, like get, get a yeah, better I mean, Is what, his guy. third fail? Something like that. The, the, the Mets reliever, uh, Maia, did this. He yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Like, he, he, would, moron. he would come back like a day after he came back, failed again, failed again. <laughs> right. Like you're just doing it poorly because right. everyone else can pass. My thing is like, I don't think, you know, if you're a baseball player and you get caught, it, you're kind of like disgraced and your reputation and your legacy and all that shit. I don't even think I would care about that if I was in the UFC. Nah. I'm just here to make money and bash skulls, and like right. if I get kicked out, and I, he already made his cash or whatever, yeah. right? Yeah, they don't, like whatever. Oh, that's a great so point. What am I, I'm, a dis, I'm back, a disgraced right? UFC fucking champion. I don't care. Daniel yeah. Cormier, though, like that guy's that's the saddest guy ever. Because like he's John B- Bone Jones is his boogeyman. He like can't beat him, and he just because he just keeps doing steroids right before. <laughs> yeah. If you look at their body types, it is it's quite like, so, jarring. It's so the unfair, because like, the thing is, like, I, I don't care. Like he, he did steroids. Obviously, Daniel Cormier, like, now is still gets his title, and everyone's like, okay, John Bones Jones, you know, cheated. But that fucking knee to the head doesn't go away. No. That's yeah, still yeah, yeah. lying post Yeah, like, people are still like, yeah, away. you lost The dude was on Nash on pay-per-view crying. That's not fair. <laughs> he should, like, get to go, like... the guy yeah. juiced up out of his tits just, just kicked just him in the head. Him. Yeah, you yeah. should, like... That sucks. That yeah, no erasing should be a that. rule. If you're, if, you get, if you're in a UFC fight and the guy that the guy beats you and he's on steroids, you should get to like go back in the octagon and just knock him out. Like a free point. shot. Just so like the world the can see it yeah. and be like, oh, fuck, there That's it what is. You happened. won. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. That's a great idea. Because it's not You've fair. You've a couple great but ideas. But it's not That's fair, right? Like, like Daniel Cormier is a loser in my mind. He gets fucking <laughs> knees to the face. <laughs> he just keeps doing it's steroids. Not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> and I love John Bones Jones' cockiness of that tweet. Oh, boy. yeah. I knocked him out last time. He blamed steroids. Wonder what he'll blame this time. Yeah, but, but, steroids, but, dude. Steroids. <laughs> fucking steroids. But, steroids. But again, to talk about the other side, like if I'm Cormier, I'm just gonna do steroids too. Cause who fucking cares? Yeah. Let's go. Everybody's just. 
in this in this arena, it should all just be legal. Well, that's and everybody we need, does it. And they need, beat each other to yeah, death. Yeah, UFC kind of got pussy. They got rid of fucking steroids eye gouging. and eye gouges. Like, dude, we need off. we need Putin or someone in Russia to like uh, have this fight between Cormier and Brock Lesnar and let them or no, uh, Bones Jones and, and Brock Lesnar let them to the death. Let them both do steroids yeah. before and maybe throw, they're, both, maybe they're throw like, like a bear in the middle. They both love steroids. Yeah. Give them what they <laughs> love. Let them fight. Give it to us. That's fight you've ever seen. Have a bear yeah. be the referee. Oh, just be so <laughs> awesome. Swing some vodka love, and golf. Could you imagine if they were like, yeah, we're going to give them six months. They can do as many steroids as they want. Just see how fucking That would be the greatest spectacle of all time. They can and just then they go come out and, and throw one punch and their like, muscles just rip yeah. off their bones. <laughs> Without even land. <laughs> I would watch it. Amy Schumer is requesting, has requested, and is getting a renegotiation from Netflix that she makes as much money as Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock did for their r- most recent specials. I don't know what Rock makes. I think Chappelle made sixty million for three, Woo! like big bank. Yeah. Maybe even two. I, I think it was twenty. Woo! It was. I think it was twenty per. Twenty per. Okay. Yeah. But it was two. So but one was an old one. Big one. big money. When I first saw this, I was like, "Fuck this." Amy Schumer is not funny. She's a hack. She's a thief. I was talking to Francis. He knows the you know that realm a little bit. And when you think about it from a business point of view, if she if, if, if her specials make get as many eyeballs, if her book is number one, if she's got a TV show and a movie and she's a big draw, you can't. It's, first of all, I definitely you definitely can't knock asking for it, so I have no problem with that. Right. And two, if she's all those things, you almost you can kind of defend it. It's, I'm I, but I'm with zero knowledge of the Netflix pay scale. I'm thinking it's based on new subscriptions. Who are you bringing in? Right. And I don't think anyone. I don't think anyone signs up for a new Amy Schumer special. I, I would, think a I lot of people are like, oh, fuck, Chris Rock's back. Not. Oh, Chappelle's back? I would sincerely hope, like, like, we think that. But it's like, you know, the Big Bang Theory is number one on television. Right, and, true. you know, there's a lot of dumb people who are like, did you see the new Amy Schumer special? Right. I got to sign up for Netflix. I got no problem with it. You should ask for the moon every time. No, okay, but I agree like, with that. But do you think she should get it? That's a different question. Yeah, I mean, it's strictly numbers. Like, if her numbers produce that, why not? I don't, why, why wouldn't she get the same if, if she has the exact same Do you same think that it matters well? that, like, her, her, her last is... special was, like, universally destroyed? Like every critics hated it. It has like the worst one. She came out reviews. and apologized for it. Right. So it's like whatever. you're not yeah. getting a good product. Even if you get the eyeballs, are you still? You shouldn't have to pay top top dollar if you know you're getting something inferior. I mean, well, and it's predictive. Like you don't know what the eyeballs are getting, yeah. and if like everything, she's only it. done inferior stuff thus right. far. Right. What if next time people don't tune in because last one stunk? Right. Yeah. So I would just be like, all right, Amy, you get Chappelle's money if it, if the results are the same as like Chappelle's. Like an incentive based yeah, right, contract, right, something yeah. like that. I mean that. That should just solve seems, everything. Seems pretty fair Like to women, me. Yeah. white, black, whatever. If you whatever get this you many get, people, you yeah. get this many dollars. Yeah, right. Uh, last topic. This beautiful clip. This protester getting hit directly in the nuts with a oh, like, yeah. tear gas gun. Uh-huh. And you know what was really perfect? There was a lot of tear gas, and it clears just in time <laughs> yeah. for you to see him get hit right in the cock. Not much else to add on that. It's all funny. It's a nut shot. But it's only the second best nut shot going on right now. Smitty. Where's Smitty? Smitty. Smitty, Come talk about your ball sack, Smitty. The uh, ultimate softball hardo. Let's see your balls. During he won't ups, show us his balls. During warm-ups, took a ground ball right to the nuts, to the point that he had to go to the hospital, to the emergency room. Now, my question for By the way, you see the blog? I didn't look, even but it's not the like worst. put the connection together. That I texted Smitty at one in the morning. Was like, "Hey, are you okay?" I saw. The Very Instagram. generous move. And he's like, yeah, I got hit in the nuts. I was like, oh, fuck, man, that sucks. And not one minute later, my brain just shut off, and I posted the nut shot tweet. <laughs> I was like, yeah, nut shot. <laughs> Literally <laughs> within a minute. 108, 108, 109. Yeah. Yeah. Mid-conversation. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's actually quite funny nut shot. <laughs> I got domed with a pepper spray. So, uh, you still have your, both your nuts? He won't show us, so we don't. <laughs> we can't not, confirm. Yeah. We cannot, you cannot say that you have both your nuts. I said, I said to Asa, Ten thousand dollars, I'll whip him out. I'm just saying, don't what an outrageous number to throw don't him out. I'll whip him out too. I'll fucking hey, exactly. here. I'll show exactly. you my dick for ten thousand dollars. No, I'm not paying anybody. I see zero dollars. You want to see these strong nuts? Ten money. grand. Awesome. My my point was like you sh- you should be the one demanding money. Yeah. I'm not paying to see his nuts, but that's like, your whole career. Like, I also you're really know trying to work you get to pay to, to see deal a with dick. testicles. That's not good for your your job. As a bi- as a big J journalist, <laughs> all I know agent. is the facts are the facts. Smitty got hit in the nuts. He went to the hospital. He came to work, and he said he still has both nuts. 
but he won't show us. We also know. Well, I don't want to air anybody out. I just fucking. We, we know it's possible yeah. to lose a nut Connect during sporting nuts. events. Correct. Wait, multiple, who, multiple who people I know lost their boys. Who lost a nut? We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna air him out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right, never mind. We're editing it out. Yeah. Jesus that's Christ, a right? That's a for real edit. Okay, edit. so we'll just right, start again, right? Yeah. No, but we're so you could lose a nut from something like this. Like, did it, oh, absolutely. It, you, the way you described it to me, you were like, I've been hitting the nuts a million times. This didn't look or feel the same way. Exactly. The boys have been under attack. A lot over the 30 years, and it just, it didn't. 32. Come 30, on, 32, 30. I was yeah, like, oh, 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 talking about Aaron you fucking you people out. Big hey, cat. Kevin, <laughs> it just. <laughs> I didn't know. I was like, I guess he's younger than me. I, I, knew, I knew it wasn't like a huge explosion, but I knew something, something was off. And you don't mess with the bait and tackle. Which is wrong. Well, my just, question to you, you as the ultimate softball hardo, why were you not wearing a cup? See, wearing a cup would be the ultimate softball hardo. You are the ultimate yeah. softball The field was, <laughs> was so fucked, dude. But I'm not. Yeah. The field was so we played up in Harlem and it was like it was like first generation AstroTurf. Yeah. And it was straight just, out the of ball the bat. Was just bouncing it's veteran stadium. It was so bad. It was a, which I actually feel commendable about. But yeah. I mean co ed softball, I mean you've seen it. There's yeah. not balls getting drilled. But they were like last they night. were last night. Yeah. There were studs and rockets yeah. all the oh, I mean, we had, we, But we, I did it in warm ups anyway. Yeah, so we right. faced our worst nightmare. I mean, of course he's the kid's a stoolie, but he's like a twenty two year old kid who was like like, you weren't here the first time we played. He's like, oh, yeah, I just graduated college. Like, my baseball season just wrapped up. We're like, okay. They were hitting him out of fucking ass. Fenway Like, come on. Like, there's nothing you can do. This is, as a 32-year-old, that's my worst nightmare, being right. like, okay, here's this 22-year-old kid who just stopped playing college baseball. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, you go to the emergency room. Correct. Well, after, I play. Oh, oh, oh yeah, don't discount that I played in after the playoff the game because yes. you're the yes. ultimate softball well, hardo. I wouldn't say, say ultimate softball hardo. I would say worried and want to have left out his team. That's something the ultimate softball hardo would say. Correct, yeah. Those are one and the same. It's about. <laughs> I'm not a hardo. I'm a, I'm not, I'm not a softball I'm a, hardo. I'm a softball warrior. I'm a warrior. Oh, okay, got it. Thank you for so, your service, I wouldn't, I wouldn't equate it to softball. I just equate it to not letting down your team. It's like letting people go in the middle of battle. Everything you're saying is You keep right. equating it to war. <laughs> it's not being a hardo. It's just being having pride in your teammates and the not letting love them down. Who else is going to play shortstop last night? Sure, we would have been in trouble. Yeah. We would have been in trouble. So you go to the emergency room. Yes. What do they do? They're just like you. Uh, your nuts got smashed. They 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 checked it out. They almost left. Guy or girl me. doctor? Uh, girl, girl. She called me Mr. Adams. Okay. And then, and then <laughs> yeah, I was just I like, like I'm, I'm Adam Smith. Like wrong room. She came in like this was eleven o'clock. She checked cute? me out. She, had to, uh, she, she was all right. She, she was a a, yeah. What good? size bra? I, I didn't really care. <laughs> At but that point, uh, you're just worried that you're going to lose your nuts. No, I wasn't ever worried I was going to lose my nuts. It's just a weird fucking sensation that I just like didn't want Did to let go and then before? lose my nuts. Did you try jerking off? No, no. Should After that, yes, I didn't work out so hot. And then I just waited there you for tried, four hours like, for uh, an ultrasound. Yeah. Huh? You tried? I couldn't go to sleep. That's like the first something. thing you got to do. You get in the nuts. So I make sure it still works. That's go great. home at four o'clock, yeah. just like That's try to so pump out a block. Like, and and you, just, you know like, there's a level of like, I got to go to sleep and also like, I got to check this out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for sure. But no, 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 I'm limping over here. It's definitely yeah. sore. And, and, and that's how well, you go Okay, and so yeah. I said... Uh, also said, compare it to a fruit, and he was like, "It's not that bad. It's like a plum." I was like, "Oh, like I plum pretty big, bro. Pretty I mistake my fruits. Like sizes. a grape? Yeah, grape. Like it's like a normal size of grape. A, no, it's like a grape. Like grapes one of those small. big yellow grapes. Yeah, like a, like a, like a juicy yeah, grape. Yeah. Like yeah. in comparison to that. Yeah, the, oh, okay. I think no, a kiwi's no. too big. Too big. Too you big, have kiwi yeah. nuts? No, I'm oh, oh, the small. No, one. a kiwi would be a uh, small kiwi is a good exaggeration. Oh, small, big, maybe like a. Like a kiwi I, you don't want to eat. A strawberry? I, 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 a strawberry. A strawberry. Let's go yeah, strawberry. Everyone's kind of throwing out big fruit. I've seen, I've seen like grapefruit nuts before. I've seen weird fruit. I don't know how big a plum is. <laughs> how big of a strawberry? It's a normal size strawberry. But I've seen like elephant and Titus nuts before. This is no, no is way. Is it a two-bite strawberry or one-bite strawberry? I, I, I that's a big even. difference. Yeah, that's, that's a huge difference. Huge difference. Well, two-bite strawberries are like two nuts, kind of. Okay, well, if you're in a one-bite strawberry zone, I don't think you're that hurt. I think I almost have one bite right now. <laughs> okay. My balls are really small. Well, it's a mushy no, strawberry. It's, it's a mushy <laughs> strawberry, so I think I am kind of hurt. <laughs> Finish your thought. Usually, no. Like, I, I, well, I, I'm on record. I'm, I'm a long ball, Larry. So like, sometimes yeah, I'll like yeah. actually grab a nut. I'd like, say I'm like oh, a, these are pretty fucking big. Like you kind I'm of like just, a, I'm a, I'm you a big you always just see them like like in like in the mirror. Dude, you kind of just, well, one, one of the one of the questions they asked me last night was like, "Are your testicles raised at all?" I'm like, "What the fuck does that mean?" Ooh, that sounds that sounds like up into you. I. I don't know raised oh, or that like outside. Cool. Never mind. Like, I, was thinking, I just didn't understand. We are on I was a streak, like three by the way, where we've talked about dicks and shit for like 20 <laughs> recordings in a row. Yeah. It's getting a little bit concerning. <laughs> uh, okay. You feeling all right? 
Yeah, it's, it's just we a, lost. You know, you wait it. we you did lose the loss. The loss feels worse, but I'm I'm probably day to day. Just uh, ice stem. Get back on the horse soon. <laughs> stem. <laughs> All right. But thank you. Thank you for your concern. Thank you for your text. Right. You too. Our baseball guy. I didn't know what happened this morning. In the, in the se- eighth inning. To be fair. Yeah. 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 Yeah.